Hi guys, welcome to episode 21 of Taylor Training TV, where we answer all of your health and fitness questions in a bold effort to make your fitness dreams come true. Um, I've been I'm like fired today, I'm like three hours behind schedule, so I'm, this might be briefer than normal. We got a couple topics we're gonna delve into, and uh, let's hit it up. What are we talking about first? Right, so anyone that follows Taylor Train, reads a lot of our stuff, knows that we don't like machines. Janine, I'm gonna have to get you to do that demo again. The, 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 box? the box, the box seated. Uh, knows that we don't really like machines, right? But listen, when we make bold statements like that, it's not just for fun, right? It's not because we don't sell machines, we don't make money off it, so we're telling you not to use them. It's because we know physiologically for your body, <laughs> they're not good for you. Uh, so we're gonna get the follow cam and we're gonna head over. Um, we're gonna do a lot of follow cam probably today actually. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a little demo with some exercises that you might know, yeah, right? So, come with me my friends. We're gonna use Janine. Uh, stay on that side for me. What do we call this? Sitting. Right? So we have a problem in our culture where we sit too much. We sit and watch TV, we sit when we're in our cars, we sit at work, we have so much sitting, and we know our hip flexors are tight. What are 90% of machines? They put you in this position. Let's do the chest press. That's what a chest press looks like. Lat pull down. Chest fly. Right? Now this one, Janine doesn't know I'm gonna make her do this yet. Uh -oh. I need you to stand up and pretend like you're on a spin bike. <laughs> right? Pretend, yeah. See, spin bike, right? <laughs> right? But look at her hip. It's like, see how it looks sitting? Sitting? Thanks, that was really fun. Oh, <laughs> so no when we look at machines, they keep you in that flexed hip position. That's the problem with them, is we spend so much time in that position and then when we exercise, we're back in that position again making it even worse, and we shouldn't be doing that. Exercising is actually the primary time that we have to start to counteract some of the negative effects that we see from the seated position. <laughs> Sorry, Sally, I almost took you out there. That's the, one of the two reasons that we don't like machines. The second one is muscle isolation, right? The human body wasn't designed to work as a single isolated unit. Our, sorry, <laughs> our limbs and muscles weren't designed to work as a single isolated unit. Our body's designed to work as a multifaceted unit, right? So when your arm's working, your leg is too. When your core's working, your limbs are working. Everything works together. When you get onto a machine, it isolates specific muscles. We got into this problem because of the aesthetics of bodybuilding. You see, bodybuilders created gyms in the 70s, right? Stay with me here. In order to win bodybuilding, you have to aesthetically be perfectly symmetrically matched and you have to have the right ratios of muscles that aren't the normal ratios of the human body. But bodybuilders don't care about long-term injury. They care about winning their competition and that's cool. That's what athletes do. The problem is that their training style has become what fitness is and it's not good for you. Your body needs to develop in certain proportions and putting them out of whack by isolated muscle training is terrible. Right, And it also decreases the ability of your muscles to talk to each other and coordinate together. Um, so that's why, that's why we don't like them. All right, what are we talking about next? Ab rollout, why they're so awesome. Ab, I know you guys all want ab exercises, right? All right, Janine, ab wheel, and a stability wheel. <laughs> she, she is gonna hate doing this with me. But I'm gonna give you guys some great ab exercises because I know you wanna do them because you still think, you still think that doing ab exercises is gonna give you that six pack you've always dreamed of. Don't ya, don't ya. All right, come on down here. Let's do some, uh, we're gonna do some rollouts. Okay. All right, so this is an ab exercise that you can do. I'm gonna make sure you do it right. Wheel rollouts first. This is an ab rollout. And there's a few things you really wanna check. I'm gonna sit and tighten up my hip flexors now, see? See how she's got a nice curve to her back? And it stays the same the whole way through, right? Can you do that and like actually bend your back in a bad way? <laughs> yeah, see how that curtain, 
That was so bad it hurt me to watch, right? But see how it's, cha yeah, it's changing now? That is going to destroy your spine. You don't want to do that. Now do it on that ball for me. So this is another way you can do these ab rollouts, right? So the key when you're doing the rollout is that you maintain that neutral spine position. That doesn't change, right? Can you really arch your back on this and just hold it arched the whole time, right? You don't want this much arch to your back. Now do it the opposite way, hunch it through, right? This is actually okay. You can flex it. What we don't want is that to change. Better than this exercise is stir the pot, right? I think we've talked about it before. This is a way better exercise for your abs. Get a ball, lock that spine into position, and stir the pot. It's like a big witch's cauldron. It's super fun. Nailed it, thanks. You tired of exercising yet for all of our videos? Never. <laughs> She's a very good sport. I don't know if we'll need to follow cam again. I don't know what's happening. Um, so yeah, those are the ab rollouts. Really watch that spine position. That's the key. As you stretch out, if that spine starts to flex more, you gotta back off because your abs aren't really working and you're cr crushing your intervertebral discs. I don't want you to do that. Anything else we're talking about today? All right. Problems with fitness advertising. Let's play a game. We played this on Coach Taylor TV, but I swore a lot. I want you to, if you're on a computer, open another browser window. Uh, if you're not, if you're on your phone or your tablet, you can't open a second browser window and still hear my charming voice, do this afterwards. But I want you to open Google. Go to Google, open it up, and I want you to type into Google Versa Climber. I want you to switch that to Versa Climber, Climber Images. So do an image search with Versa Climber. I want you to scroll through. Then what do you see, right? First, the climber is actually not the worst. There's some people in t-shirts and shorts, but what do I see a lot of? Shirtless dude, shirtless dude, sports bra, booty short, sports bra, booty short. Notice how when the sports bra, booty short and the girls are in the ads, the camera's low and it's really focused right on their bum. That's not done by accident, my friends. This is the problem with fitness advertising and with fitness in general is we're still equating fitness with appearance and we are saying when we put out these images that a fit person looks like this and that's not always the case um, and it's something that I talk a lot about and I feel strongly with <coughs> guys here's the deal I don't look like a Greek statue right I'm not gonna be a Calvin Klein model I'm still healthy I'm strong I'm fit my blood pressure is good my cholesterol is good right my lung capacity is good I can go hiking with my dogs for 10k no problem all good, but, I, but I'm not going to be a shirtless model for Versa Climber anytime soon. We need to really change what we see fitness as because right now it's a disaster zone that really makes people feel really bad about themselves. Um, and that's not what fitness is supposed to be about. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say with that. If you got questions, you guys, that's episode 21 of Taylor Training TV. Oh, it's almost caught up with Coach Taylor TV, hasn't it? Nailed it. Uh, if you got questions, send them our way. If I have riled your feathers in any way, shape, or form, message me. I like to talk about these things. Because um, we're here to help you and your fitness with all the information that we possibly can. Asking us questions is giving you access to a professional team of expert coaches. Use us, abuse us, have fun with that. That was episode 21. We will see you next time on Taylor Training TV.